I'd like to meet Mrs Pankhurst because I'd like to thank her for her tireless and ferocious work she did to get women the vote. I'd also just quite like to be in her presence because I imagine she's a force of nature to be around. The person I'd most like to meet in the DNB is Mr. Gladstone. And the reason I would like to meet him is because Colin Matthew, my lovely husband, did the, the diaries for many, many years. And as a family, we would travel with Colin and Mr. Gladstone around the world and learned a lot about Mr. Gladstone in print and through Colin's eyes, which was wonderful. So I would love to meet him in person. The person I'd most like to meet in the Oxford DNB is Brian Clough, because he's a man of contradiction, both unpredictable and intolerant, yet charming and kind, and the greatest manager England never had. The person that I would most like to meet from the Dictionary of National Biography is um, one of my favourite authors, Marjorie Allingham. And I happened on her work completely by accident. I was in a used bookshop and found one of her old Penguin copies, probably published in the 40s. And in it, I met one of her most famous characters, Albert Campion, who starts out as rather a naive young man uh, who tries to solve murder mysteries. And I find that the way that Marjorie Allingham wrote was what she called split writing, and she wrote with her right hand for pleasure, and then she wrote with what she called her left hand writing, which was in order to earn money. But as Marjorie Allingham's talent progressed, and it's easy to see how she matured as a writer, it's quite, it's quite interesting to see how Albert Campion also matures and progresses in the way that he solves the mysteries that he's involved with. So, hooray for Marjorie Allingham. I'd like to meet Thomas Fowl Buxton, who was a brewer and a politician. And he was a very busy man, and he believed that with ordinary talents and extraordinary perseverance, all things are attainable. And with that in mind, he fought against sooty cremation of widows in India. He fought against capital punishment in this country. He was a prison reformer, and he was known as the friend of Negroes. And here he is on a five pound note, the man with the specs. And one night, 700,000 slaves were liberated, thanks to Thomas Fowl Buxton, who was my great, great, great grandfather. I'd like to meet Captain Cook the Explorer and go on voyages with him to Australia using the stars to chart a way. He must have been very clever and good at remembering things to map all those islands. I would like to meet Samuel Johnson, the author and lexicographer. In many ways, he seems like a top guy. He's reported to have been generous to the poor, kind to children and animals, and for the time, he had a pretty good attitude to women. He's really interesting because he dropped out of uni, was physically disfigured, suffered from what was possibly Tourette's, and had frequent periods of idleness. He wrote a phenomenal range of stuff, and one of the things he's best known for is his dictionary, which left an immense mark on its age. I'd like to meet Isabella Blow, fashion journalist and stylist, 1958 to 2007. I think hers is the only picture in the Oxford DNB with a credit for the hat she's wearing, which was created by her favourite milliner, Philip Tracy. And I think the fact that that's in there really captures the sense of generosity that she showed towards the designers she discovered. Um, I'd also really like to congratulate her on the faith she showed in Alexander McQueen, um, which meant that she bought his entire degree show collection, which was delivered in black bin bags and paid for in instalments of £100. Um, I don't own any Philip Tracy hats, I don't own any Alexander McQueen clothes, but I do appreciate the theatre from a tube of red lipstick. The person I'd most like to meet is Charles Dickens, because I think he'd throw a really good Christmas party. I'd like to have met Tom Crean, who is one of the few people to have served on the Antarctic expeditions of both Captain Scott and Ernest Shackleton. He's not very well known, he wasn't an officer, but he was right in the middle of some amazing feats of valour and endurance. For example, after he'd trekked 1,500 miles over the ice, he did the last 35 miles single-handed to get help for his friends. Then he was one of the few people with Shackleton on the trek over South Georgia. So he was an amazing man. 
But also, these expeditions have been really mythologised. It would be very interesting to hear his take on them. The person that I would most like to meet from the DMB uh, would be William Blake, because he's my favourite poet, and he wrote my favourite poem called The Crystal Cabinet. Um, and I'd like to ask him what the poem means to him. I've chosen a woman called Jill Fraser, who I knew and who was at one point my boss and also my mentor. She was my boss at the theatre that she owned and ran, which was called the Watermill Theatre, which was just outside Newbury, which she bought with her husband and which she developed from a tiny embryo of a theatre into the most glorious um, organisation that won awards and which toured all over the country and which made her extremely famous, and quite rightly so. She was a wonderful woman. The person who has an entry in the ODNB that I would most like to have met was John Maynard Keynes. He was the greatest economist of the 20th century, and he passionately believed that economics wasn't just a dry-as-dust statistical discipline, but existed to make life better for the majority of people. He also used to ask himself, when he met someone for the first time, will they make the Dictionary of National Biography. Well, in the case of Keynes himself, that was never in any doubt. <laughs>